there's already a state of emergency that's been issued for the state of Florida for this hurricane. And what that means is that emergency response is mobilizing. The evacuations are underway. The Dahlia brings really destructive hurricane force winds above 74 miles an hour, even inland. A life-threatening storm surge, perhaps unprecedented in some of the coastlines, and also dangerous inland flooding is a big risk. The U.S. Coast Guard is staging. They're best, basically bringing the rescue boats to Fort Myers Beach to respond to emergencies, jump into action anywhere along the west coast of Florida, as needed. Joining us right now is Nicole Grohl. She's from the U.S. Coast Guard, District 7. Welcome to Weather Command, Nicole. Hi, Amy. How is the Coast Guard positioning their resources for Hurricane Idalia? We're making sure that we have resources to respond during the storm and after if emergencies come up. But we also staged and are staging aircraft boats outside the cone of uncertainty. We want to make sure that no matter what happens, we are going to get to anyone in distress as soon as possible. Life-threatening storm surges anticipated. You hope everyone heeds the evacuation orders, but what has the Coast Guard done to help in previous situations like this when the storms bring high waters and people are basically stranded in, in, in life-threatening situations? So we have punt teams that come in with shallow water vessels and they'll come in and they'll bring their boats and they'll rescue anyone who's uh, stranded in their homes. Our aircraft, especially our helicopters, they're iconic, people see them all the time, especially Air Station Clearwater. You'll see them flying. You'll see that our rescue swimmers performing rescues, uh, making sure getting people out of dangerous high water situations. But I can't stress enough, call 911 to report an emergency. Don't use social media. If you're on a vessel, use VHF Channel 16. That is the best way to get assistance, whether it's your local county sheriffs or the Coast Guard, to get help. You're talking about vessels. Some people live on boats, then they think they can just ride out the storm. How often does the Coast Guard uh, come up against people who get stranded out in hurricane waters as the storm makes its way towards land? Is that, is that frequent? It doesn't matter how many times we recommend people to follow their local government recommendations that we make announcements that we shut down the ports. Somebody always stays with their vessel and we are always there to help them out no matter what. Um, that's our job and that's what we're committed to do to make sure people are safe. But we do not recommend it. Go find a hotel, go find a loved one, go stay with them for the most of the storm for this to come through. You say it's no. It's safer you're not going to risk your life. You say no matter what, but is there a threshold during a hurricane that maybe the Coast Guard even pulls back from responding? Is there a time when you say, okay, we got to wait until things settle down? Absolutely. We're not going to, if we, if we get hurt during a hurricane, there's no way we're going to rescue, we're going to be able to save you. So we will wait if things are too, if the risk is too great. Um, but as soon as that risk come do comes down a little bit, we are definitely going out there. Our priority is saving lives and making sure everyone goes home to their loved ones at the end of the day. Is there uh, some sort of criteria that you look at for the storm to pass, which determines that it's safe for you to start the search and rescue operations? It all depends on what's happening in the moment where the emergency is. We, t we train in bad weather and hurricane weather for these types of rescues, we always consider the lives we are saving and the risk to our lives ourselves. So if there's not an emergency, don't call for help. There are people who actually need help and we prioritize because those people who are in imminent danger need to get rescued. Those who are, they lost their kayak because they didn't tie it down. We're not gonna get to you as fast as we are the people who are actually in distress. So please move your vessels above, well above the waterline, especially with these surge warnings. Don't create a situation that doesn't need to happen. Really appreciate your time. Petty Officer First Class Nicole Grohl, Public Information Officer for the U.S. Coast Guard District 7. Stay safe during the storm. We appreciate your service. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.